So what? How did your morning go? You slept till ten a.m. Hey, look, no, I had my alarm set for four fifteen. Yeah. My wife's tapping me on the head because it's going off and I ain't hearing it. So I get up, get dressed, drive down there to stupid lair. I'm always you know twenty minutes early. He's always the first man there. Yeah. You know, so I'm sitting there, you know, and I'm at well, <clears throat> Phil and a whole crew comes in on his truck. Three people, two people with him. Then Jace drives up behind me, on. You know, took him like. 20 minutes to get out of the truck, finally walked by, and I said, is Stone showing up today? And I asked Phil that, too. And he said, well, he's supposed to. So I was sitting there the whole time. As soon as I dropped, shut the key off, I said, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. So, so finally, I just said, well, hey, it was close to, you know, 5.30 after. Hey, I was going to tell Dean goodbye. He's going back to Mississippi after duck hunt. So I just pulled out and was going, and they coming down the road. So I stopped, you know. And they backed up, and Don said, what's going on? You feeling bad? I said, no, I ain't feeling bad. I just said, I come to my senses. I ain't going out there to waste my darn time. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I said, I had a real good day yesterday. Yep. We killed ducks in the morning, and then one and the owner had a deer that we wanted to shoot. And he come out there, and we popped him. And, hey, we was back in the house by, you know, 7 o'clock. So you killed you a big old buck deer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I killed yeah. a good uh, eight point. Hey, that's good. Old meat hook. Meat hook. So y'all got that accomplished. Uh, yep, and hey, I made a perfect shot on him. He sure did. Yeah. So, uh, old Chad, nurse practitioner, his phone rung, you know, and I looked at it because I've got called before I know who's calling now. Oh, he back on that caller oh, ID yeah, bag. Yeah, because yeah, I got <laughs> So hey, you ain't going to hang up on hey, me. Hey, look, I had 100 people calling me asking uh, for money. So now my wife, all she does is pick up the phone and says, if you're looking for the donation, you need to look elsewhere. Bonk. They hang up. You know, so hey. But anyway, you know, Chad called. He said, I heard you, you killed old me. I said, hey, he messed up and showed up. And I said, and I put a perfect shot on him. That's good. Yeah. But he was pretty dear. Oh, I mean, yeah. real pretty dear. And, and a good rack. Well. He, I think he's a little older than five and a half. He may be. Yeah. I he, think he was, he's actually he, about six or seven. I think he's in his prime. He, well, he, he was still in his prime. Yeah. yeah. He's in his prime. Yeah, well, sure. you'd be happy to know your prediction on Georgia, Alabama turned out beautifully. Hey, hey I was going to say that. Hey, y'all heard it on the podcast first. If Georgia played like the football team they've played all season, 13-1. and one. Alabama was on their eighth receiver. Huh? Yeah. I don't care if they were on their old... 100th receiver. Mm. Hey, they were defensed, okay? They scored one touchdown. <laughs> Otherwise, they was in there three times, and, hey, they had to kick a field goal. So Georgia showed four times. And well, one got blocked. Well, see, I, I was so tired last night after hunting – in the morning for ducks and then hunting in the afternoon for ducks. Well, so that yeah, was way past your bedtime. You oh, did no. the, I, not only I went that. to bed like stone. I went to bed. I, I finally just woke up and yeah. I looked at the clock. It was 8.30 and I said, click, turn the TV off. Went and got to bed, went to sleep at 8.30. So yeah. you had been asleep Oh, yeah, I had been asleep in the recliner. <laughs> you know, the game started like at 7.30. Well, hey, I was asleep. Well, I'd only watched about five minutes. I haven't spent on an hour. You played poker the night before. <laughs> Well, that's went, another thing. Went hey, duck you know, yeah. Went yeah. duck hunting. How was your poker game? Hey, I clipped them clowns for about twenty four sixty. Twenty four dollars and sixty cents. No, two thousand four hundred and sixty. Well, it sounds like you need to open a donation line back no, up. No, I ain't right? open a donation. That may be why. <laughs> hey, that may be why we're getting called all yeah. the time. All them boys is all them boys is telling on you. Call Cy. Uh, he he got that's all that's the money. Yeah. Well, oh, hey. man. So you're up on 2022, oh, $2,040. Yeah. Well, it's time right. to retire. Right. 2,460. Oh, hey, oh 2,400. I'll go back. They'll get it all back. Oh, they'll the get year. it back. Then. Plus some. Uh, yeah. Plus, hey, a little, anybody, plus a little in the kids. Nobody's going to win. Nobody's going to win consistently all the time. You've been living fast. I know one hard. person. I, I know, know one person that does it. I know. But he's got a full-grown meal. You know where. Shoed. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know where. Please tell me. No. I'm just... <laughs> he ain't got the shoe. He got the whole mule. Huh? Hey, he got the whole mule. But no, Sai, you had a full day. You, you, did, you went duck hunt, poker that night. Yeah. Then went duck hunting. Yeah. Then did a podcast. And then yeah. went deer hunting. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, you but it was well worth it. I enjoyed it. It was immensely. quite the day. Look, I hadn't laughed. Okay, I'm with I'm with two people who I love very clearly. Okay, and we're watching deer the whole time. Yeah. So, yeah. and then I get to shoot the buck we went after. Okay. Yeah. And look, we're done. 
He cleans it. Okay, so we're done. Okay. <laughs> Cleaning the deer by 6 o'clock. No wonder you like deer hunting so much. Oh, now. No. You got a that gum well, caddy. No, 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 no. That's why I told you. I said, he's a good man. You like take, Tiger Woods. Hey, you got Steve on the bag hey, over here. The man Golly. takes care of old people and children uh, oh, and man. does a very, very good uh, job of it. I have not laughed uh, that much in one day. Uh, I don't right. think in my entire oh, we life. Bad, I, I can't believe the deer even come out because oh, we're wait, there laughing in the blind. Wait, oh. you, y'all three, all you three two. All three in the blind. And, and Dr. Dean. Dr. Yeah. Dean. <laughs> all three yeah. of us were in there. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And they killed That's why, them. hey, and we had a riot doing it. Oh, I okay. guarantee you. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had that much. And Stone fun was chewing Dean's rear end because hey, he said he showed took a picture of us with the deer, and Stone said, "Hey, I can't see his points. The point of this, he's an eight point. I want to see all eight of them." The old Dean said, "Well, I'm trying." He said, "What do you mean?" He can't said, "What do you points? mean?" He said, "Hey, get it closer. Draw, or draw it in, or zoom in. No, do said, something. Uh, just take a different angle every now and then." <laughs> So he's a he's a he's a paintologist, not a not a picturologist. Not a pictureologist. Well, he is a funny character. Oh no, hey, he is funny. No, we had a blast. I mean, it was a, it was a fine day. It really was. Yeah, it was. Well, I need to take you somewhere with me. You want to go buy some scratch offs or something? You got you got a pretty good streak going hey, here. I would like to hit the big like you know two hundred and forty million dollar lottery. <laughs> Me too, because I think I'd get a million just by being this close to you. Yeah. <laughs> you would. Yeah. You would. <laughs> just by diffusion, I think oh, I'll yeah. make oh, it get a million. If I had it, yeah, if I had it, yeah. This podcast would be over, I tell oh, you that. Oh, no, yeah. I don't. I have a blast doing the podcast. No, oh, but I guarantee. You would keep doing it? I would keep doing it. Absolutely, yeah. he would. But he would, you know he what? Would do it for he, us. he wouldn't stop on them things we tell him to stop on no more. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Hey, right, here's the deal. The editors would really earn their money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cole and the boys would have, yeah, you know, they would have a good job. Okay, because they wait. Know. This podcast oh, is edited. No. <laughs> well, I, oh, I heard something yesterday that really made me laugh. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I, I told you the shotgunning is a little suspect these days, just because everybody's getting older. So this this Mallard Drake comes in lights oh he, he got crippled down but he's 20 yards and phil shoots misses <laughs> shoots is 20 yards on the water misses again <laughs> and jay says hey you shooting over him and phil immediately said my gun's shooting high <laughs> So it, it, ain't, it ain't him. <laughs> no, it ain't him. Gun it ain't him. No, my gun shoots high, son. Uh, yeah, it ain't he him. He said, hey, they told me when they brought it to me, hey, these Benelli shoot high. Uh, yeah. My gun shoot ain't, high. I'm shooting high. Hey, hey look. He I think Benelli's probably shoot pretty true. <laughs> oh, yeah. The yeah. Italians figured that out. Uh, yeah. but, hey, they do things, two things really good. They make good pizza and good shotguns. Oh, I guarantee you. And meatballs. Right. Meatballs. meatballs. is yeah, yeah, Phil's yeah. latest. One. But okay. it was yeah. instant. My gun's shooting high. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> he had already assessed that blame in his head. He didn't oh, yeah. even have to stop for it. Yeah. I, looked over, right. I looked over at Jace. Jace was smi smiling. And then he said, well, let's side shoot him. <laughs> and his side just bounced. With that little, they call it my pop gun. Okay, that's why. I said, why every time they're out there over forty, I'm out. <laughs> according to Phil Robertson, Jason Robertson, I have never killed a duck. Yeah. And according to you, none of us have. That's right. <laughs> according, according, and according to the truth, so I'm noticing a pattern. The rest of them, oh. if I don't go, they don't kill doodly squat. Oh, there's a pattern. All right. <laughs> they went. They went this morning. Only killed three because you wasn't there. Yep. Hey, there you go. Pitiful. I, I showed up the well, day before, and we can't kill fourteen. Hey, hey. I'm gonna say the the dynamics of the blind was not the same <laughs> as it was yesterday. A little bit lower morale. I, oh, morning. that's the most yeah. I've seen. Bill Robertson laughed in a long time. Oh, he and laughed. He, even got he laughed almost. And yeah. all it took yeah. was one Mallard Drake that's right. coming in, come back in the pepper. decoys to get killed. Yeah. Bill killed him, and that's all it took. <laughs> he probably it was like flipping a switch. He could he probably pull the plug come, on the place. Hey, he now. did come oh, in pretty yeah. though. Yeah, he, did. he really did. Oh, he was. He was pretty. high, and they hit him. And hey, he just next time I know I'm looking, he just he got them wings, and here he comes, boy. And then, boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I love seeing him come out of the sky. Oh, yeah. 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 
You talking about fly? That's green, why, that sun was on that green the, head. What in the it's encyclopedias shiny. they say they fly this fast and all this, and they they got it even by species. You know, they ain't never seen one come out of the sky from up there where they look like they're mosquitoes. Okay, <laughs> they're coming then, a lot faster yeah, than that, ain't they? Yeah, and then then when you you hear them, you think a jet has just come over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember. That I remember day, the day on Dog Bow. Me and you. We hear. <laughs> And I'm thinking it's a jet flying low. You know, and Mark looked at me. He said, hey, get ready. It's three uh, canvas, canvas back. Oh, yeah. You know, so I'm <laughs> they come back. And, hey, I said, but after we loud. killed them, I said, Martin, three ducks made that racket? Oh, yeah. He said, yeah. That, old, shot, that old ring neck, he can make some racket, too. We oh. shot them cans in front of that scaffold blind. And they hit the water down there at the water control structure. <laughs> that's and, how fast they were doing. And that's about 250 uh, that's, yards that, away. That, that we kinda, shot them right in front of us. That kind of shotgun right up size, Allie. Oh, yeah. We he, he's a snap out, shooter yeah, way back. Pull out in front like a school bus right. and let her eat. Let's oh, go. I don't pull out in front of nothing. I'd catch up with them and shoot them. When the gun barrel blocks them out, I'd oh, get That's in. me, you, and your son, wasn't it? Huh? That's me, you, and Scott, yeah, I think, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yep. That was a fun morning. Yeah, oh, that was a good hunt. We didn't kill squat, really. But we got three cans, <laughs> but we had a good time, though. <laughs> and it was worth it just to hear that sound. And Martin said, he said, if you'd only seen how high they was when they started down. I kept looking for them, and I could, I could just hear yeah. them. I'm looking, I'm looking, and I finally catch a glimpse of gray go across there. I said, whoa. And they come right there. Because like, they're supposed to be, incredible. according to the encyclopedia, that's the fastest one. Canvas back. Yeah. That's what they say, yeah. Hmm. Well, let's take Cause our... Because he, he's aerodynamic, okay? From the tip of his bill, it's, it's at an angle the way his body yeah. is. And the only thing faster than a canvas back is this first break. Let's take it. Yeah. We'll be All back. Right. Hey, it's back by 36 years of research, Jack. <laughs> Okay, and look, and you can find it only one place on this planet we call Earth. Where? That'd be the pristine waters of New Zealand. What do you find there? Uh, and we're talking about Omega XL. What's it do for you? Hey, look, J.D., do you know that you've got over 360 joints in your body? Some days it feels like more. Okay, and sometimes there's painful pain in these joints. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, I got the answer to your problem, baby. Tell me what it is. Hey, all you do is you order one bottle, and you get the next one free. Bottle of what? A bottle of Omega XL. And then you can take these little pills. They're easy. They're small. And look, I call them my first responder, okay, because I've been on them for about a year and a half now. Okay, you take them, hey, they rush to this joint that is in pain, and hey, and guess what happens? You feel better? Oh, yeah, they deal with the pain, ducks? Jack. They you deal with deer? the pain. Okay, they don't bring the pain. They get rid of the pain. So, hey, hey, get you some Omega XL, Jack. And get rid of the inflammation, which causes all of that pain, and it helps rejuvenate your SPMs. Which, as you age, start going away. That's right. So, hey, order okay. Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Duck! Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. And get you a bottle of Omega XL, and we'll send you one free. And you, and you get two of them now. There you go. Yes. We're in Moss Lake Blind, which is in a big cypress tree. How okay? tall? How high up was it? 14 foot off hmm. the water. Okay. And it's it's like a, a one half of a horseshoe. Yeah. It's a skinny lake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Beautiful. is it the horse right. or the shoe? Huh? The, 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 the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Not a skinny horse. That's bad, baby. <laughs> but anyway, you know, it's uh, right on the Arkansas Louisiana line. This lake is. Moss Lake? Yeah. Yep. And, hey, we, we hear them. Here they come. And there's about 40 of them. Except there's something funny about the bunch. It's just a bright yellow spot in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's... Yeah. And Phil said, hey, don't nobody move. And he said, and don't nobody shoot. Whatever that is, yellow in that bunch, I'm fixed to kill it. Mm -hmm. So it makes around. Here they come back. He boom. Folds it, okay. <laughs> yeah, 
goes out there in the payroll. He's got a payroll at the bottom of it, you know, because we parked the big boat somewhere else. Gets in the payroll, goes out there, picks it up, comes back, and he said, hey, guess what this thing is? And we all said, what? It was a bunch of canvas back. He said, you're exactly right. It's a canvas back, but it's bright, bright yellow, canary yellow. They had took an egg and injected it with a yellow dye. And I ain't talking about just a dull yellow. No, no, no. This is bright canary yellow. Sure and they done a baby. bunch of the species of ducks. They did them all kind of colors. Pink, blue, red. Yes. You know, and put a radio collar on them so they could see where they're migrating. Because they know rednecks, okay? If something comes flying by that looks weird, a redneck's going to shoot it, but in ground check it. I got to be honest. Every bunch of ducks, I scan them for something different. Oh, before no. Yeah. I, before yeah. I start in on them, yeah. I look at all of them. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Tell me, is there anything out of that or yeah, there? Is there anything? Is there anybody in there different? Yeah. Because yeah. Phil, when he was hunting with Coco down there in South Louisiana in the marsh, in the, it was timber, flooded timber, you know, 62,000 acres. They had a more Paul Swamp. Yeah. 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 You know, they was, it was like 5,000 ducks come in and lit on them at daylight. And Phil said, don't nobody shoot. He said, what we want to do here, he said, find a odd duck in there, something <laughs> different, something special. You know, so, so they're all looking for one odd duck like Bart is talking about, so it kills something crazy. I do it every time they're yeah. working. Every time they're working, yeah. I survey yeah. them. I have a Some question. people even spot the bands on them. Yeah, I've seen a couple. Yeah. So I, I said, hey, wave it, wave it, wave it, kill that big drake. I told him, what a one, there's I've, 10 of them. I've clipped me Tell a me, couple. Boom. He said, that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> he I've, said, bring it back. It's mine. It's I'm, got a band. Yeah, I've clipped me a couple of them by surveying. <laughs> if you ever see me shoot out of position, that's what it is. <laughs> it's a band. Well, or just something, something, or something, something different. Or something ordinary. Yeah. Out of, extra ordinary. So you're saying they died the duck before it was born? Yeah. yeah they the died embryo. it by an egg with a fine, fine uh, hypodermic needle. Martin, biology? Oh. Hey, you can That's do, what I was told. You can do you can do lots of things. I mean, I'm not going to say you can or you can't. Yeah. It would be an easy way to track them. Yeah. It's that, like when they put them collars on geese and all that stuff, because yep. then they can see them from a long ways oh, away. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I thought when he said yellow, it was going to be one of them. They used to put, uh, like, nasal tags on them where they could see them from a long way, and it'd be a big yellow spot oh, on I top never, of his beard. Yeah, I ain't never heard, yeah, I ain't never heard yeah. that. So, I mean, they, what, Phil killed a yellow one. He met a guy in Arkansas that killed a blue one. Then somebody else somewhere that killed a pink one. There and, you go. And it was canvas back. All canvas back. Yeah, all canvas back. Checking them divers out. Yeah, check, uh, checking the divers uh, out. The, the part I think is funny is Phil said, nobody shoot but me. I'm going to. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, because he just Cause said, he didn't want, hey, don't, You know why? Because he didn't want anybody claiming that they killed it. Well, he well, wanted I, it, that. He wanted that to be his. Hey, well, hey. when you're the general, you can do that. Yeah, when well, you're the you captain, hey, you used to be in charge. The rules. Yeah, he's used to quarterbacking. So hey, he's a control freak. He's a control freak. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because I had said, I said, I said, say, yeah. look, there you go. They did it to chickens. Oh wow. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. And y'all, but killed I think them. about that though. Look, you're in a duck blind, and something that bright yellow. A big bunch of them, and, and only one of them in the middle is like that. The works, question is, works on fish. Well, and the question <laughs> is, how did he not get snuffed out by a hawk or an eagle? That, well, that was kind of my thing. You, know? hmm. you talking about that? We went to the Purvis, Mississippi for quail. Okay, mm -hmm. they released quail, chucker, and pheasants. You know, you would think a hawk would attack the quail. No, they killed the pheasant. Oh well, yeah, the biggest one. He's slow. Well, no, no. I, you would figure a little one. No, them quails yeah. fast. Now get on that big slow chicken up well, there. Well, <laughs> I guess that's why they do it because hey, I they mean, they go and put them out, okay, and then come back and get the hunters. Yeah. Well, hey, by the time we got out there, the dogs up there pointing, and the guy, the dog hunter, saying, "Hey, that's a pheasant. I can tell the way he's acting." So we're all getting ready yeah, for a not pheasant. Cause, not because they put him there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, no, he's this one's laying in the middle of the road, and he's half eight. Yeah. Yeah. So it ain't been five minutes. And the guy said, hey. I what? said, a hawk got I said, it looked like they take the little bird. He said, oh, no, they want the, like you were talking about, they want the big, slow that chicken. big, pretty bird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got to you gotta <laughs> think, you know, so, would you rather go to Popeye's or would you rather run down a chicken and eat him? Well, hey, a lot easier to go to Popeye's. Go to Popeye's. 
<laughs> hey, you see me running. Hey, shoot, get your gun ready, shoot whatever's chasing me. So Phil killed a yellow yeah. canvas back. Yellow, yellow canvas back. Right, yellow. That's interesting. I was uh, back in, truth, in what, 72. It's, of, it's illegal of, now. To do that to wild animals? Or to what animals in general? You oh. can't die animals. Oh, okay. It's inhumane. <laughs> the question is, did it affect his meat color at all? Was his meat yellow? I don't know, because all he did was he mounted, had it mounted. Well, where's that at? Where is it? Oh, psh, it ain't no telling. Okay. <laughs> for 70, he probably, 70, 72. No, and Phil, he probably traded it for a hoop net somewhere along the way. Yeah, oh, so, he may have. You know. No, hold it. <laughs> hold it. Hold, hold the line. I had seen that in that house down there on the creek. But I doubt if it's there now. Gordon's old house? No, no. Where he lives. Where he's been living. Since 1972. Phil's house? Yeah. Oh, Phil's house. Yeah. That house down yeah. there on the creek. Yeah. On, on the creek. I hadn't seen it. It used to be there because I've actually seen it there somewhere. Huh. But, hey, the, the whole house is slammed full of, you know, yeah, caves. Uh, stuff? the hoarder's K, stuff. Yeah, Kay's okay. a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> so, got hey, hoarding it's tendencies. Stuck, I'm telling you, it's down there, but it's probably stuck in some closet or in somewhere in a drawer. It's probably in there by that grocery sack full of bands Phil's got in that bag. Well, it may be. <laughs> I put them on a string. Oh, put, he put them on I, a string, I put yeah. his duck bands on a string. They stretch from here to that door. <laughs> I ain't lying to you. Hey, oh, I, if that's it, the if reason. Said, he showed me the bag one day, and I said, Hey, good night. That's the it. reason that Moss Lake is a refuge. Yeah. Phil Robertson. No, no. Yeah. Well, he did is the that, responsible we, thing we, and we reported did, it. We did yeah. what we're supposed to do as uh, good hunters. When you kill something that's got a band on it, they got a number you can call uh -huh. and find out when it was released and banded, all this good stuff. Well, they finally just was printing out. One guy said, wait a minute, I've seen that name before, Phil Robertson. Oh, I've seen that. Computer. <laughs> Run a test and give me the band that's got the name Phil Robertson. Then the next thing happened, they flew over it. Next thing happened was the government moved in and bought it and made a refuge. And there they burned go. down the blinds. And burned down the blinds. They burned the blinds? True yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for a while. For Look, a, and hey. For a while, there was remnants up there of it. Yeah. yeah. Go fishing yeah. it. We you had go uh, fishing, you can see it. We had a floater on, on uh, Fish Lake. We had a tree blind in in the middle of the, the property, B Break. That's where all the ducks come in when they come in when you know migrate. They go down that, and that's be That's the one y that was real, high. real, real high. Yeah. How tall yeah. was that one? That was the tallest cypress tree in that swamp. Okay, and we built a blind and like the lost the man of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Tommy's uh one a uh, right guard or tackling at Louisiana Tech, Maurice Greer. Yeah. That weighed in about two eighty. Toting materials up oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the look, ladder oh, shifted on what we did, this thing is about psh, probably 70 yards at the top of it. Okay, so we made about five huh? or six 14-foot ladders. 210-foot cypress tree. That's <laughs> okay. big. No, 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 no. Look, hey. 70 we, feet, 70 feet. Well, whatever. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Well, whatever. Yeah. You know, but anyway, we had about six or seven ladders, okay, 14 whatever. feet tall, when we was actually, we had big, long boats about all, you know, about big as my thumb, okay? And we was ratcheting them with metal containers going over our two by sixes that we made the ladders out of, you know, screwed into that cypress tree. Yeah. What a man will do for a duck. Oh, no. Yeah, but hey, it, it was worth it. One of the coolest mornings I hunted is that the blind shooting porch, you walked out, got on it, you walked up about four steps, got on the shooting porch, and when you stood up, you're above all the blind. Okay, you're 100 or 360 degrees, you can shoot. Well, the fog is about right here on me when I stood up. I'm above the fog, it's clear. Bluebird day. Here comes 25 wood ducks. You know, and I just three for three. Bye y'all, bye y'all, bye y'all. You know, you're talking about pretty. And look, they, <laughs> they wasn't flying flags. I'm serious. They were just, it was like they wasn't even doing the wings. Oh, they I, were just kind of floating. Just. They thought they were safe. Oh, no. They, yeah, they thought, but nope, wrong answer. There was Silas. <laughs> but hey, but you thought pretty. Man, that was a pretty spot.
Uh, well, let's somebody take, told me they burnt that out of the top of the oh, tree, absolutely. too. Oh, yeah. You know, That's to keep some idiot from climbing up there 70 foot and going <laughs> duck hunting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was some good ones, boys. Oh, that was pretty. Uh, we used to go in there. Look, going Friday night. Hey, look, tell me about it in a minute. Let's take uh, a break. Look, folks, we've seen it in the comments. You're asking about size shirts, where you can get them, the gospel symbols, all of that good stuff, but... I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let the man tell you. Hey, look. If you want one of these really nice, comfortable, soft, okay, T-shirts, Uncle Si approved, with the gospel symbols on them, all right, or the cross on them, or verses, Bible verses on them, okay, you order them from AmericanScroll.com. There you go. What's okay. the cool thing? So, what's the stuff inside of them? Everybody's wanting to know what the little, the drawings. What you the got drawing, going there? Okay, these are the gospel symbols. Okay, yep. the first arrow. We just read the verse on our podcast about hey, verse fourteen, John one fourteen. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. That's Jesus. Let me get on the right, right side. I was, I'm I was up, wondering which yeah. way you were no, reading. No, I'm upside down. I'm upside down. <laughs> it's over here. It's okay. Over. The word become flesh. Okay. He did it for one reason. So the human race, and that would be the Romans and the religious leaders of the day could get their hands on him. They nailed him to a cross and killed him. Okay. They took him down. This here is the tomb. Yeah, they put him in a in a man. A man wanted to let me have Jesus' body. I'll put him in my tomb. So he put was put in a new grave. Okay, cross couldn't hold him. Tomb couldn't hold him. Here's this arrow right here going back. It's pointing up. Hey, right. there was a bunch of people watched Jesus bodily ascend back into heaven. They watched him go. Okay, he's done the most. Four important four things. He's got one job left to do. There's another arrow pointing back down to this earth. He's already set foot. He walked on this earth. He will never do that again. When he comes back, those that believe in him, he's coming back to get his people. Christ. And just like you, Sai, American Scroll is all about faith, family, freedom, and fun. Uh, Cy partnered with world-renowned master engraver Weldon Lister. That's the engravings you see inside the gospel symbols on his shirt. Look, Cy loves them. They're Uncle Cy approved. We know you will, too. It combines Cy's love of fun, his sense of humor, and his mission to share the gospel message with cool scroll art. To get yourself a tea or hat from the Uncle Cy approved collection, go to AmericanScroll.com and use the code USA20 to get 20% off your entire order. USA stands for Uncle Cy approved. That's USA20. For 20% off, while supplies last, Duck Call Room listeners will also get a genuine Uncle Si approved challenge coin with their order. So head to AmericanScroll.com and enter code USA20 to get 20% off today. <laughs> oh, no. you talking about pretty. Oh, One man. of the prettiest mornings I've ever seen. We've watched nine big river otters. Heard to fish. Heard to fish. So what happened? I've already told that story. Yeah, how, yeah. how long? What? So y'all went in on Friday night. It was a weekend thing for oh, duck yeah. hunting back for y'all, yeah. wasn't it? We would go in on Friday night because you could kill the limited ducks and tag them, okay? They had tags you could get, okay? You know, we'd tag, hunt Saturday morning, tag them, full limits. Hunt Sunday morning, tag them. Sometimes hunt Monday morning if we didn't have, have to work, you know, tag them, yeah. How much beer did you take with you? Uh, no. no. No beer? No. No whiskey. Phil then was always, you know, he was on Moss Lake. Me and Tommy would be in, me and Tommy and Daddy or somebody else would be in. in and B fish break. or something or be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't. It was hard to get. Uh, so you didn't. Al Boland and Phil, it was hard to get him and whoever they was hunting with out of the Moss Lake blind. You might never had to take a two before you know, a pry bar. <laughs> Make them hunt somewhere else. You had to pry them out of that blind. So that was their hole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was their hole. Tommy. You know, he hunted Fish Lake and then Bee Break a lot. Yeah, I got you. Well, yeah, but that was back. You know, that's the, the glory days of duck hunting. Oh no, yeah, that was ten a piece. Seventy and like you know, you talking man, you talking about some duck hunting. Mm. Hmm. It was fun to actually go up there, and brush the blind on Moss Lake, and then and the flight would start. 
you know, we'd go up every daylight, you know, be working on the blind, building it or <laughs> brushing it, and the, they'd start coming in and mallards was, and they'd, they'd come in at bee break, and I'm talking about it's just one bunch would start circling and going down in that 30-foot hole in the brook brush under that big cypress tree, and it would start at daylight. It would be going that way at dark, a black tornado of mallards all day long. Black tornado. Lighting, and hay. Lighting and swimming away. Lighting, swimming away. Lighting, swimming away. I've seen away. it once in Kansas. Yeah. The tornado. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've seen a lot of ducks up there, but the most ducks I ever seen was Dixie, Louisiana on Red River. Me and a buddy of mine in high school went, and we killed one mallard hen. And I bet you I saw 10 million <laughs> mallards. Look. Far as you could see, Ten from east to west, million. coming from the north, <laughs> nothing but solid mallards. Uh, what yes. was they running from? Uh, hey, it's coming and heading south. Snow one one hen, one hen, come out of them big high bunches, lit in the decoys, and I ground slaughtered her. One hen, I was only duck we one killed. One out of ten million. Right. One, one, one 10 hen, million. her side go. That's it. Said, "Mama, that's you." <laughs> that's right. Hey, mama. I, hey, that's like my that long lost daughter of mine down there. Hey, mama. I know her, I know her voice. I'm coming, mama. I was back in the heyday, boys. I'm telling you, that kind of ain't what it used to be. Oh no. And like when the river got out of, you know, was flooded in flood stage. Yeah. You know, we fish Moss Lake and and uh, Bee Break and Moss, you know, Fish Lake. Yeah. But we pulled up there one day and look, we shut the vehicle off, and all you can hear is just it's a roar. It's like thunder, just. And all it is is brim feeding. Just the smacking of them eating. Mayfly and whatever critters is hitting the top of the water. Your hearing used to be a lot better. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Ducks sound like uh, jets. You know, but it was so many fish, okay, <laughs> in that area that it was like thunder. Yeah. Brim that sound like thunder. No. Yes. I'm just trying to think. I've heard bluegill pop my whole life. I'm oh, just no, trying no, to, no. I'm trying to figure it's, out how it, many of them a, it was. No, no. Second sound. Look. It, it, well, I, I saw it yeah. on Darbo one time, but it was crappie. It was a mayfly hatch. Oh, no. They blew yep. off that cliff on down there. You know the boat where I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, on the, the South Levee. On the South Levee. Yeah. There's a cliff about 30 feet high. Mm -hmm. and, and a big um, south, south wind, wind. come up. And blew them mayflies out of them trees, and and the channel runs right beside. Them. And it was in April. Yeah, ain't that something? In the middle. And they called mayflies. It was in April. No, no. Actually, I think I, I think seen. it was in March. It was and, in March. And look, when he's saying, the, yo, you're talking about millions. Look, you can oh, see know, yeah. you know, millions the river of channel. mayflies. Okay, hitting the water. Yeah. The, the river channel in that lake, you could follow the channel just by the fish smacking the mayflies. Yeah. They were in the ch there wasn't no fish outside the channel eating mayflies. They were all in, oh, in the river channel. Oh no no, you talking about that? Of, that little bit of current in that pond had it coming right. Me, me and Gowan had three fish, and we were heading to the truck, and I saw that. I said, "What is going on?" <laughs> and we went went over it with our fish finder, and it just turned black. The screen turned black oh, no. from the top of the water column yeah. all yeah. the way down to the bottom. So I took my little little gray hair jig and flipped it over the side of the boat. Boom. There it is. And about an hour later, we come out cool there with one hundred ninety-seven yeah. cool more of them. Hey, I actually yeah. done that when I was stationed in, in uh, Massachusetts. I think you got in on some of that. Didn't I, you? The next day, yeah, yeah. I got the tail end of <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, Barton heard. I couldn't get no fish to hit. I was up in Massachusetts in in a creek, okay, that had, was full of trout, but I seen trout jumping and weigh fourteen, fifteen pounds. <laughs> I'm serious. I was out there wading and had a a mayfly. Dang megas. No, no. Hey, a mayfly uh, artificial lure on my fly rod wouldn't touch it. And but just watching that was so unique because it was literally millions of little mayflies. Why didn't you grab water. you one of them and put? Oh it on no, no. Hook? I went to the bank, took oh. my pocket knife out, and cut me a big club. I'm serious. He went out there and was gonna wait till they jump up because they was jumping over. They was jumping over my fly rod. So I said, I'm, 
I'm going to go out there and play baseball with these trout. And I'm going to get me a mess up. I took my pocket knife. Yeah. And, and whittled me a club. Oh, me a pink no, no. Club. If you'd have been watching, because I'm out there chest deep in water swinging at, at fish coming to the top of water. I wish I could see that. I'm serious. I spent the whole evening to slap dark trying to kill me one with a club. Sigh, looking like that guy on a buffalo. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. break your gun on a stump, you son. Know, hey. No, I'm uh, serious. But that that was one of the things growing up when it, being with Phil when we've been all kind of hunting, we've seen some wild things. Oh, I imagine. You know, I was telling uh, Dr. Dean about migrating squirrels. Oh, I know this story. Okay. The great squirrel migration of 79. No, no. Yeah. It's a true story. Hey, you can, article, wick up, yeah. you can <laughs> Wikipedia this, okay, yeah. and it'll tell you. When the woods, it used to be just solid woods from uh, Arkansas all the way down to Louisiana. Well, they would migrate. When Phil told me about it, I said, what are you talking about? He said, we're going to squirrel hunting morning. Meet us up there. You know, and he told me where, how to get there. You know, and I just bought me a brand new twenty two with a scope on it. Uh -oh. you know? Well, when I walked up, they looked and said, what, is, what kind of shotgun is that you got? I said, ain't a shotgun. It's twenty two rifle. Well, look, about five of us, they all got to laughing. He said, what are you bringing a twenty two for? I told you these are migrated squirrels. And I said, well, what are you talking about? He said, they never stop. They just gonna go by you in the top of the trees, and I said, "Well, don't worry about me. I'll get mine." And I did. I did. I killed my limit of eight. And you shot him on the run. On the run with a twenty-two. With a twenty-two in the head. In the head. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, that that's something to see because they go through the trees uh, chirping and everything. You know, so you just thought you're sitting there, and all of a sudden you hear a bunch of noise, squirrels barking, and you, and you look up, and they just. And they, they never stop. They just go by you. Yeah. I'd like to it's see a cool a thing to migration. see. Oh no. It's a cool thing to see. It really is. They make uh, a lot of racket. Oh, a lot of racket. What are you talking about? Yeah. Sounds like thunder and a jet plane. Uh, I'm telling you. What, what old what old dude used to do that squirrel noise? Oh skip. Oh oh uh oh good, good, the artist. Oh skip. The artist. Oh skip. skippy. Yeah, skippy. Oh yeah. skippy. He sounded just like cat squirrel. He told it. He showed it. Yeah, I mean hey. You can take, look, you can cut you a limber limb off of a With tree. With your pocket knife? Yeah. And yeah. clean and it up. And then beat the snot out of uh, a trap? No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> hey, cleaned it up. Uh, it's got to be a limber one. Yeah. yeah. And then just, you do this real fast, and it'll make a, a sound. And I'm telling you, they'll come through the top of trees looking for you. Just blow them off the limb with, with shotgun. Well, how are you going to do that? You whoop in the air with other ones? Well, hey. You, you better have when a buddy. He comes, that's a buddy when he comes system. through the sound, kill him. <laughs> you call him, I'm all. Uh, <laughs> call him, boy, that's right. You call him, uh, I'm all. <laughs> all right, let's <laughs> take another break. We'll be back right after this. Watch, watch, this, watch this lemon juice pour, by the way. Uh, Is it stout? Zoom in on this. Zoom in on this. How, how much lemon? How much watch lemon how much pour? lemon. All right, boys. Good grief. That's what I'm saying. Hey, take you, yesterday. Hey, take you a book take you a pull off that bottle. Oh. Watch this. Uh -uh. Oh no, he didn't. Yeah. I've watched that man eat a whole lemon. He didn't flinch. No. Uh uh. <laughs> no. Oh, well, a, I like hey, I like lemon juice. Look, at a re have you ever been to a restaurant with him? Yeah, yeah, he eats them, doesn't he? He look, eats a whole lemon while he's sitting there. They like, bring I always tell him, I said, What do you want, darling? I said, I'll take They call you darling. I'll it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, he I is. Said, He's uh, America's darling. I said, hey, uh, give me unsweet tea. And I said, and bring me a bowl or a plate of lemon with it. That was so much lemon And juice. there ain't nothing left but the rind. Oh, no, no. I sit there and squeeze the juice out. Eat the rind. You know, eat the, <laughs> eat the goods out of it. <laughs> I've, had, I've actually ate the rind, too, because the rind's the best part for you. Oh. It's a little too stout, though. <laughs> Yeah, the rind's yeah. the best part for you. Oh no, it is. That's where That's all right. the hey, here, vitamins here's what, are. Here's what the nutritions tell you. Which the doctors nutrition? that are nutritions, <laughs> all of them. Well, hey, <laughs> like if you buy an orange, a, a real good orange, you peel it, mm -hmm. throw the orange away, and eat the peel. I have because hmm. uh... it's way better for you. Okay, on that orange zest. He likes it, man. Yeah. A little citrus yeah. zest, kind of liven up the palate. They tell oh, no. they say hey. on Food Network. Lemon, little lemon stout. Lime is pretty rough. I got a lime okay. tree in my yard. Oh no, yeah, it's, it's rough. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm a lime man. Stone, man I'm I, a lemon man. Stone, I noticed you over here moving a little ginger <laughs> later. Oh, you, man. You, you all right? <laughs> well, yeah, he, oh, I had a back injury this morning. Oh, you, I was about to say, I thought it was from giving this man the greatest day of his life. No, no, no. Carrying no, him around. This morning. Uh, <laughs> well, what did you do to... <clears throat> Well, you wasn't there, so he wasn't having to carry nothing. I well, guess all that weight no, off his he, back. That's why. I, that's one of the reasons Shot. I decided not to go. I'd give him. I'd give him a break. He's yeah. giving your mule a day off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm oh. giving him a break. It's uh, important. Can't yeah. run him too ragged. Well, I, I usually use uh, when I go hide the vehicle, whatever vehicle we're, we're using that day. I use that as an opportunity to get my cardio ca- cardio in. Yeah, okay. I'll take off running through and the do water. Do a walkabout. You know. Yeah, so <laughs> he's got Australian time, in him. I'm telling you. But this time, Phil says, "Stone, he's hollering at me while I'm putting out decoys." I said, "Yeah." He said, "I left my bag. When you get done, bring my bag back. Go get my bag." He left it at the boathouse, which Uh-oh. is oh, oh, yeah. he's hunting up in that north lane. I, I see why. So now. pretty good little jaunt. I see why so now. I took I took the boat back to the boathouse. Got picked up Phil's bag, and I thought, good. Three. It's like three cinder blocks. Uh, he's got a Dewalt tool kit in there. Uh-huh. I mean, he's yeah. got everything. Wrenches. Oh yeah. I mean, he's got everything. And his duck it weighs. Line? Yeah. It oh, weighs. He's eight. got a crescent wrench as big as the bag. Yeah. I fixed that for his that, propane. Hey, that yeah. bag weighs a hundred pounds. Yeah. But Phil carries, I I would say, two hundred fifty pounds of grit every morning. He a propane bottle full. Okay. A fish cooker. For he uses for, for a heater. heater, and yep. you know how heavy those things are, yep. and his hundred pound bag. Yeah. I don't think it weighs a hundred, but it does weigh no. s- about oh. sixty or seventy. That's no. about like a bag of quick creek. Oh no, it it's a hundred. Yeah. About like a, a bag of quick. So no, anyway, two bags, fifty each. Okay, it's two bags. It's hundred pounds. Anyway, where, where we was hunting, um, was too shallow to sink the piro, <laughs> so I had to go hide the boat, hide the boat in in the in the blind at the lake where the boat run is mm-hmm. and that the walk and we moved that north lane floater on up the north lane mm. so it was probably how far do you think that is probably 700 yards 700 yard walk well it's 300 well and you gotta three go quarter, well because you gotta go out mile. you gotta go yeah. out and around too cause well yeah it's it, it at least half or three quarters of a mile yeah a few good pretty good ruts in there yeah uh so i put, I put phil's bag on my shoulder and i thought hmm I don't know about this. I said, but I always look for opportunities to exercise. I thought, well, this would be like the good old days, you know, on the on the rucksack march. Uh-oh. Bad call. Bad call. Bad boy. call. So, so when I sat down that blind, I had a twinge. Uh-oh. I said, that ain't good. I said, Phil, what in the world do you have in that hunting bag? He said, everything. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have it he got 80 pounds of gear and ain't got but a box of shells in there that's yeah. the funny part yeah. like he ain't got no bullets i'm just the he knows he don't need many hey i'm just the opposite yeah but that's my mother i pack, I that's pack my like si. i'm not gonna go hand to hand because this boy ain't gonna ever have to run out of bullets yeah <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. I, pack, I, got, I carry four boxes of shotgun shells with me when i go hunting i pack like yeah. si yeah. Bullets and a bottle of water. I don't pack four boxes. Oh, oh, hey. I put however many in my hey. chest pocket on my waiters I hold, yeah. and I got a bottle of water in the other one. That's all I'm hey, doing. They drilled me. into me, you don't want to be hand-to-hand combat. And I said, nope, I'm too skinny. <laughs> no, I ain't going hand-to-hand. He just grabbed what I'm was gonna, left I'm in his I'm going to have a gun, and I'm going to have the bullets for the gun. He ain't running out, boys. <laughs> I ain't running not, out. Not only does he have four boxes in his bag, Every pocket on his jacket is slammed full of shotgun shells. <laughs> I let him borrow my slicker the other day. It was raining, and I, I went to pick my slicker up and weighed about 15 pounds. <laughs> he had a box in each pocket. <laughs> <Yeah. isn't he? laughs> I'm serious. He ain't run it out. I ain't running out of bullets. Just Ever. in case that one day happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mind yeah. you, we can't kill but six. Uh, yeah, but, nah, I, but he got 150 bullets. Look, Wild I, enough, he's waiting for that one moment. Well, hey, like, man, Stone has done discuss this. I better not uh-oh. catch any uh, deadly disease that I know I'm on my way out. <laughs> because, hey, then, hey, the gloves are off. <laughs> Hey, you can, and this kid is fixing to go slam insane. Well, here's what I tell you. Right now in North Louisiana, you could go slam insane. And, and you could kill enough and you gonna kill str- enough get in trouble. Yeah, you're going to struggle to get to six. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you, you'll be struggling just to do something to get in trouble. Yeah. 
scared. Oh, they'll be out there shocking catfish. And doing it all. You got to think yeah. about it. Fishing with dynamite. The things that are the most fun in life. Uh-oh. Okay. Kids. Is the government made them illegal. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot better than I thought it was. They kind of like Jason yeah. Robson. They don't have no fun for us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to get you, Jason. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, he ain't listening. I, yeah. I ain't worried. He ain't listening. Ain't listening. Ain't listening. Ain't. Nobody he's, gonna tell he's him. He's name, yeah. my namesake, and he know I love him. I love him dearly. Oh, but have a little fun. <sighs> oh, he did. Have he fun. did. He was laughing yesterday. He was <laughs> laughing. He, if you didn't laugh at that. Yeah, some bad role, but he was laughing. I was. Uh, well, but, it just that was going down memory road. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've seen so many wonderful things out in God's creation. That's uh, that was the best part of it. Well, let's take our last break, and we'll get in that mailbag. Oh, we'll be we back. Fixed, we fixed check your mailbag, boys. Well, I tell you what, that, that shot was way better than that one on that little yearling out there at the dog. <laughs> I, I I was really concerned when when you oh, hey. when you shot ten foot over that deer. I I thought to myself, oh, well, he, he ain't gone, got, boy. he ain't got long left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> typical typical Robertson gun though. No, no. He no. said, "What's wrong with this gun?" <laughs> I said, "That's bullfrog's gun. Ain't nothing wrong with it." He said, "Did I, I shoot said, over that deer?" I said, "No, I didn't say that." I said, "Hey, if they had had me on the medical machine that shows brain wave activity, over. I said." Uh, it wouldn't uh, have been there. Oh, <laughs> man. Look, he, he, I've never seen a man shoot 10 foot over yeah. a deer. Oh, yeah. oh but, no, but I told he, you. He totally redeemed himself. When he made the absolute perfect shot on that buck yesterday. But it took three minutes of me talking him down because his finger was doing it. Look, I, I was watching that finger. He's he, lying. He, no, no, <laughs> boy. He's <laughs> lying. Look, we're sitting, we're sitting there when that buck walked out there. I said, there's a the buck. And he looked, and he said, wait a minute. He said, he turned me. He said, "Steph Hill, settle down. <laughs> Yo, don't be shaking." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and he's shaking me because he's shaking. I'm going, "Okay, uh, yeah." Uh, and BK no, no. backed me up on that. Oh, oh, he had man. to tell him, "Hey, Dad, uh, it's okay. Quit yeah, quit shaking. It's okay. You're gonna I, make I, I was video telling, terrible. I was telling him, "Keep your head down." He said, "I know it." I said. Nothing moves but your finger. <laughs> I know it. And, it, and I was looking at his finger. And I, doing he it. said, and make sure he's broadside. I said, I know it. I said, he's buying four deer right now. I got to wait till, wait till they get, I like, get a clear shot. I'm just trying to calm you down. I so said, I so. got this. I got this. <laughs> oh, he smoked, he smoked it. Look, lights out. Lights out. Oh, meat hook gone. He well, gone. Johnny he D, gone. what's in that? Uh, Hello, H E L L O, at duckcallroom.com. Uh, mailbag. Oh, I still got good ones. I still well, got let's good roll ones. with them. Well, I, I'm glad the uh, fans are getting involved here, boys. I, I do. I've loved size stories today, but Connor has emailed us. He doesn't. Oh, I South Carolina. Is he from South Carolina? Uh, no. Is he 24? No. Has he been married for three and a half years? No. Different Maybe. Connor. That's right. All Good right, one. so Connor says he still has a lot to learn, so he figures he's asked the veterans of marriage and food what their advice would be. <laughs> this is not going to end well. Oh. On marriage and food? Yep. Yeah, when you're combining these two things, okay. we're in trouble. And I got a story to tell about it. His wife can cook well, no doubt. She has her staples. He lists a few, jambalaya. I'm not sure about South Carolina jambalaya, but uh, here's the problem. She likes to change things up. She will take a perfectly good recipe from one of her staples, oh. then like white chicken chili, he says. It's not my thing, but it is his thing. And then change it up and try something new out. And he gets all excited about it. Then it's supper time, and she's used ground chicken instead of Chopped chicken breast. I don't know what ground chicken is. Oh, you can buy it. Look like hamburger meat. It's chicken? Chicken. Mm -hmm. You can get it chicken, turkey, pork, oh. you name it. Yeah. Oh, I guess you can grind anything. Uh, yeah. And he's like, gross. She took something perfectly good and switched it up. She sounded like she got a little Willie Robertson in her. That's what it sounds she's like. Sounds like she's a <laughs> goulash. What, 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 goulash. A goulash. Yeah. Goulash. Slum goyen is what Phil calls so it. So all she's doing, okay, in my humble opinion, yeah, you can always okay strive to make something better. What happens when you make it worse? Well, no, so, no. So See, here's that, the deal. That's where, hey, that's one of the things you got to be. Uh, you be tactful on this. 
Okay. So everybody's always because looking for a that, shortcut. Babe, hey, I like it just the way you do it on yeah. the recipe. I mean, from the sounds of it, just like yeah. in a chili, it'd be a lot easier to use ground chicken than yeah. having to shred chicken. That's what it, so, so recently Allison got a, a cookbook from the Pioneer Woman. Love you, Pioneer Woman. Uh, um, Pioneer but it had uh, like shortcuts you could do. And so Allison was making steak fingers and gravy and mashed potatoes, and she used the shortcut of just use cornflakes for the breading. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense, right? But then when Carter ate it, he goes, Mom, this is, what is this? Thumbs down. And he yelled that at her. And I said, hey, we don't, we, it's probably yeah. pretty good. Mom then, worked hard on this. Then I took a bite and was like, hmm. And then I tried the gravy, which was cooked where in the, you know, where you fried the. The drippings. Yeah, the yeah. drippings. And I said, Allison? What kind of cornflakes did you use here? She goes, just the regular ones. And I said, where's the box? It was Frosted Flakes. Oh. Oh, no. no. Oh, so the gravy had, had like a cotton candy twang to yeah. it. You had yeah. dessert steak. <laughs> yeah, it, dessert well, steak. I had two <laughs> bites. And, <laughs> and we all laughed about it. But sometimes shortcuts are dangerous. When what, you're not thinking. Did y'all go with Johnny's or Domino's? Who saved the day? <laughs> yeah. I had a sandwich. Oh. I had a sandwich yeah. on yeah, the sandwich. on back order. Oh, but, yeah, you got to be careful. But, I mean, you can laugh about it, yeah. which if it's that bad, the only answer is to laugh now about it. Now, that one you got to laugh at. Well, look, here's the deal. I mean, just be thankful that you got a woman that'll cook for you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you man. know, my wife does Uh-oh. not cook at all. Right. So. And there's some people around here that are very good that Dan does that because Stone is an excellent cook. I try. I try. <laughs> well, I do it out of necessity. You know? That's it. Oh, hey, and you've that, actually got really good at it. She yeah. make that corn casserole and dessert. No, right. so. She's a pretty good dessert woman. Oh, yeah. yeah she yeah. on that she dessert bag. She makes bag some bad dessert all. things. Oh, yeah. she makes a good corn casserole. Yeah, and, yeah she and can bake. She can't, she can't cook, but yeah. she She's can on bake. The, but, hey, yeah. I'll give you an example. <clears throat> Nan makes great cowboy cookies, her and BK both. And she's upgraded. Oh, yeah. Okay, in my humble opinion, because we had some the other night, okay? Stone cooked me a big filet mignon, which was fine as frog hair split 78 <laughs> ways. Did boys. he burn it? <laughs> no, it was perfect. Oh. But anyway, medium man plus. has upgraded on the cowboy cookies. She added something more to it. It's not medium well. Because uh, now they are, they are fine. It's butterscotch cowboy cookies. Okay. Oh, they are fine. Oh, instead of chocolate yeah. chips, she's in oh, no. Sh- oh, yeah. oh, boy. They are better, too. Hey, Way I better. I ate six of them. That sounds good. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Praise oh, God. Boy. Hey, boy, Martin's going to start preaching about this food, boys. Yeah. Every now and then, they <laughs> drop off a ten of them cookies. Up oh, no. Like, yeah. oh, the, she's upgraded them, and these are fine. They I'm are fine. About, I love them way better than the So the what was our man's question? We done got way Oh, off. yeah. He was just wondering <laughs> how to approach the situation right. and not hurt his wife's feelings. With uh, tactfully. Yeah. Tactfully. Be- Open so and baby, honest love communication. Hey, here's what I tell one. your wife. Baby, yeah. I Stone love says, don't you. say anything. Just eat it. You don't even can't no. understand how much I love you. But, hey, next time you cook <laughs> this, use the original recipe, please. All right, just now on that one, you just tell her, so, man, I think I like that pulled chicken more than I like that ground chicken. <laughs> Move okay, on. Right. And then she'll say, you pull it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Stone's been traumatized. All right. All right. All right. Well, speaking of Stone and his wife, uh, here we go. Annie. Anna's wife. Annie. Okay. And your wife. Annie. Annie. Oh, speaking yeah. of Stone and your wife, yeah. Annie sent in a question. Oh, okay. Very confusing. Okay. Uh, hello. Love the show. She has a question. The other day, I heard Jay say, "Marry someone who can help you get to heaven." Uh, she's heard other people say it. I've never heard this phrase or. Use this phrase. Can you explain what you meant by that stone? Oh, good grief! Well, just when when you go to marry somebody, <clears throat> you're looking for somebody that number one uh, loves Jesus, and number two that you can live with yourself. <laughs> 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 this, you know, and uh-huh. that's uh, that's, that's not easy. It. That's not. E- I mean, be, being married. Is you got a lot of challenges, as we all know. Cool. But uh, what I meant by that is, is just you know, if they love Jesus, yeah, they're gonna help you get to the ultimate goal, which is to get to heaven. So I think that's all can, I meant by. And I think you can use that phrase too to refer to friendship. So you can use, or or with anything. Well, everybody's yeah. whoever you can choose to be around people that are gonna bring you up, 
or bring you or down. Bring you down. That's right. Be I a, prefer up. Yep, and be a good influence. I mean, yeah, because you know everybody's going to struggle. Um, and they're all going to make, make everybody's going to make mistakes, but just try to pick somebody that will help you get better. Yeah, absolutely. Great way to put it. Sigh. Anything on that? Uh, no, be, be positive, boys. He's all, positive. He's be all positive, boys. Out. Hey, I've been I've been around people that are negative. Okay, that's rough. That's why he yeah. went back home. This yeah. hey, that's it. Be positive. <laughs> I've never seen him pull that move. It, you know, I'm driving down there, and size coming the other direction. <laughs> no. I actually drove Life down there, and then I, when I got up, pulled up, and shut the engine off. To, I said, "What are you here for?" Life too short. Yeah. What are you well, here for? Why? We got Go one more and rest. <laughs> one more, yeah. Yeah, we got time for one right. more. Hit I us got one more. more. I like this one. Corey in Mansfield, Ohio. Oh. Um, he 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 liked our New Year's resolutions. He's going to delete everything off his phone. Um, but he's about to have a baby girl. Oh, good. And he wants us to name her. Oh, no. First and foremost, congratulations on... That's not true. Oh, receiving <laughs> one of God's <laughs> blessings for you, a child. What is he? And, want? sir, my advice to you is, hey, you and your lovely wife, y'all name your children. Well, they, no, so they're just undecided, so they wanted a little help. We don't. He doesn't actually want us to name her. Oh, okay. Oh, has so he got it down to two or something? I mean, we've got two options. All right, Judah... And Charlotte, Charlotte would be a shout out to his stepfather Charles. Judah would be in recognition of the heritage of Jesus. My daughter's name's Lottie, which is short for Charlotte in some cases, so I vote Charlotte. But she's just Lottie. My personal opinion, yeah, you're going to choose. I like both of them. He likes both of them. Judah is a pretty cool name. Yeah. What about name? Charlotte? Yeah. Judah? I would lean toward Judah. Those actually yeah. Judah Charlotte. I don't. Yeah. I'm not going to say my, his hey. last name on here. Yeah. But Mary, Judah, Charlotte, or Charlotte, Judah. They Little both name. sound good with the last name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Corey, congratulations yeah. on the daughter. Amen. Yeah, they're Amen. a handful. Yeah. Right. Let me you tell you something. When you they got, get about, you got one hammer. <laughs> this what? hand right here. I got three. <laughs> hey. but, hey, look, they're all fun. They're fun until they get about fourteen. Then they just go nuts. Well, hey. <laughs> That don't matter if they male or female. That's, well, I would say right. say that's both, uh, you know, species yeah. here, boy. Man, well, species. My advice is you start saving money right now. <laughs> put a little back. Hey, Every put day. it back, boys. Put it in the yeah. bank. You're going to need it. Pretend yeah. like you got a bill you don't have. Yeah, that's right. Well, you want to close yeah. it? I got, us, I got us a good verse that I honestly, I Googled something in a break, and I really liked it. And so I'm going with this one. This isn't something I was able to just come up with. Well, hit me with your best Google shot, help. JD. Job chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. But ask the animals, and they will teach you, or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you, or speak to the earth, and it will teach you, or let the fish in the sea inform you, which of all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this, in his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. I like it. We we went kind of like old it. school nature today. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I really like that verse. It's a good go thing I don't it. need the ducks to tell well, me anything right now because they ain't here. Well, I think so, yeah. I, I'll, I I'll end this yeah. with, hey, we're duck hunters. <clears throat> and, hey, the Almighty, when he made a duck and he made a bunch of species of them, okay, <clears throat> they're a jet, okay, they're a boat, okay, and they can be a submarine when they choose to be. Yeah. So, hey, <laughs> put that in your pipe and smoke it, baby. <laughs> the Almighty is, hey, he has done some incredible things. Yeah. Oh. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. We'll see y'all right here next uh, time for hey. either a jet, a plane, or a, a submarine. Hey, you take the choice. What do you want to ride on, boy? Be a jet, a boat? <laughs>